soldiers of Asgard, we are back in the walking dead. Um, should I talk? Let's talk to him. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay It's like gonna this. stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How was the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. They ran I over people. To go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Who would have in their right mind would? Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. So you learn stuff about them. I don't know if that helps later on. I have like an I have a walkie talkie, I don't know how to use it. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Well, let's go. Let's go to the town. Let's kill people. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah. No kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Sorry I'm not I'm talking that much, but it's kind of like, it's a lot of, a lot of, uh, you showed an interest in his family. I did. I don't know what that means, but, you know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Lauderdale. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin. Whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Um, I thought we were going to go somewhere. I don't... I thought I needed someone to help him go to town. Am I supposed to just, like, walk around until stuff goes down? Or... I'm not really limping anymore, that's good. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Yes, yes he is. Hey, Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. 
If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Oh, I can actually do stuff? Oh, no way. Oh, I thought I was actually gonna do it. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Parents are in Macon with my brother. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No oh, man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's yeah, probably really bad. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Yeah. I'm helpful Thanks, and Sean. stuff. Thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. In the barn? Right, let's talk to the little brat. How you doing, Doug? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. That's actually wrong, you stupid son of a... Hey, Herschel. It's your birthday. I can't... Okay. Who's angry? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. I thought I already told you this, man. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Go! I'll get my gun! The heck was that? Who the heck is screaming? Oh snap! Yeah, I'm gonna save Doug, he's a kid. Oh, man. Oh. 
where I could have saved both? about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Choose between two sons. That's messed up, man. Maybe, maybe if I saved the other guy and I moved the tractor, I could have saved both of them. But I think you, you have to choose one. Ride to make it if you want it. What would happen if I would have would I stayed on the farm then? Does it change the game completely? If I save the other guy and then the boy dies, the other guy gets mad. He lost his little son. It's like two ways you can look at it. It's like doing the right thing or doing like the survival thing. The right thing, or technically the right thing would be to save the kid, you know. He's defenseless, technically, blah, 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 save the kid. But the other way, if you think about it, like, the kid doesn't do much compared to what the, Tommy was doing. I think that was his name. So you have to choose well, between either one. This is as far as we're going. It's like, it's you should, if you want to survive in a zombie apocalypse, you should have saved the older guy. He knew how to do things. He could defend himself, you know. I don't know, man. Drug. My kind of store. Or is it his kind of store? Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh, man. There's zombies everywhere. Get on the drugstore. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, if the kid dies. Oh, who the heck is this? Run! Who's this lady? We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. Then just go! Oh no, that's not the one I wanted. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll then just go. I didn't come. mean to be mean. God I thought I meant like, it, then go you find a bathroom. Control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Um, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. 
Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. Jeez. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell? Alright guys, I gotta cut it here. Catch you guys in the next part. Find out what's gonna happen. Th Man, they don't give you that much time to decide. Soldiers of Asgard, don't forget to like, favorite, and comment. And if you want a guaranteed spot in Valhalla next to me, don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out my Facebook and Twitter accounts in the description below. Thanks for watching.